Any American in Ukraine should leave as soon as possible and in any event in the next 24 to 48 hours. Russia wants NATO to withdraw forces from Eastern Europe, demanding promises that Ukraine and other nations along its border will not be allowed to join NATO. The West wants Russia to pull its forces back from Ukraine's border. Whatever happens next, the West is more united than it's been in years. NATO has been strengthened. The focus on a possible war is less intense for many who could soon be in its path. I feel like people are spreading panic, saying that everything is bad and you have to leave the country. Actually, I think things are getting back to normal. Russia's massive military exercises are scheduled to end February 20th. The State Department is already calling Americans in Ukraine, asking if they have travel arrangements, telling them they should leave immediately. In Kyiv, Ukraine, Steve Arrigan, Fox News. And North Texans with family in Ukraine are hearing the reports from the federal government, worried now about what's going to happen next. They say right now it's likely very difficult to get out of the country. Fox Sports' Peyton Yeager continues our coverage. Peyton. Heather, Christy and Jeremez, she lives in Little Elm, but she has family in western Ukraine, and she says that her family told her they were hoping that it wouldn't escalate to this. But with the dire warning from the White House today, right now, they are worried. Maybe I should keep her close. Christia Jeremez's patch of land in Little Elm is serene, but Friday she couldn't seem to shake an unsettling feeling. Uh, extended family, probably about 20. Jeremez's parents immigrated to the United States from Ukraine after World War II. She still has around two dozen loved ones living in western Ukraine. Me helping them out goes a long way. Jeremez sent money to her Ukrainian family for food and supplies following Friday's warning from the White House. With more than 100,000 Russian troops lining the border, the Biden administration revealed a potential Russian invasion is imminent. Jeremez's friends and family are holding out hope that tensions will ease. Already people were really starting to get second thoughts about, is this really going to happen? And I think panic is going to be setting in soon. And while American citizens are being told to get out now, Jeremez says it's much harder for Ukrainians to escape. People who have business, have maybe been traveling recently, in or out of Ukraine may have the potential to, to get on the flight and, and leave, but the majority of people won't. But at the same time, the majority of people are willing to put their lives up against Russia. It's almost a David and Goliath situation. Jeremez helped start the nonprofit Ukrainian American Society of Texas. The organization is still working to see if any Texans need family members in Ukraine to get out. My family, we were celebrating my visit. Jeremez is proud to be surrounded by Ukrainian history and culture inside her North Texas home. This is a um, hand-carved piece of plate. But it's also a constant reminder across the Atlantic, her home country could be preparing for war. People in Dallas, people in North Texas, uh, needs to take this extremely seriously. This is not just about Ukraine. This is about the world's balance. Jeremy says she helps her family in Ukraine as much as she can from North Texas. She is in constant communication with them. She spoke to them earlier today. They are safe, but she says they are on edge. Back to you. Okay, Peyton Yeager, thanks. Stop.